While many people turn to religion to help them cope in the days after the 9-11 attacks, and some even chose new faiths, including Islam. And when you study Islam, even when Islam is taught to you by somebody who hates Islam, as long as they don't corrupt it too far, you can still see the truth in Islam. When people see the truth of Islam, it can change them if they want to be guided. If they want the truth, it can change them. someone, a measured person, making profound pronouncements and statements that um, are amazingly accurate of a scientific nature. <laughs> have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. This is a leech and this is the human embryo for 23 days. I think you have to agree. of one of the first Qurans ever translated to English by George Sale. George Sale hated Islam, he hated the Muslims, but when he translated the Quran to English, he was true, he was true to the text of the words. Although maybe not getting all the meaning, he certainly was true to the text of the words. I was shocked when I read it. Have you seen it? You know what I'm talking about? Amazing! I love Islam. Islam is absolutely my life. There's nothing in the world as important to me as Islam. And there is nothing in the world that I am not willing to give up for the sake of Allah, for Islam, and for the Muslims. That's a fact. It's an unquestionable fact. Because Islam is everything to me because I know the power of Islam. I know the power of Allah. I understand Allah's love. I understand His wisdom. I understand His mercy. I understand His justice. And I know there is nothing that is better. And I wish to share this with everyone. instance is one of many a long list of people who read this and realized the truth of Islam 
When people see the truth of Islam, it can change them if they want to be guided. If they want the truth, it can change them. The first commandment in the Bible in Exodus is the same as the first commandment in the book of Deuteronomy. It says, I'm the Lord your God that brought you out of the land of Egypt in the house of bondage. You know no other God beside me. Beside me there's no other gods. Thou shalt not have any other gods beside me. Allah Akbar. I was telling you about what happened in Germany. I kept saying, who's next? Who's next? And they were, when we were finished, they would say, okay, let's go. I said, no, no, ask who's next. Finally, because almost everybody there is not Muslim, I said, who in the audience would like to be a Muslim? And they all stood up. 1,250 people took shahada all at the same time. Allah Akbar. And then, in English, there's no God, but God. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the messenger of God. Is the messenger of God. And her conversion ceremony is complete. She's now a Muslim. I was drinking, I was doing all of the things like typically an American would do. Uh, my work was in nightclubs, uh, photographing. There was a lot of things that I was going through that were just not with God and I needed something to change. Um, I went to my mom and I told her that I was studying Islam before I converted, that I was interested in it and I think she thought, 
oh, maybe it's just a phase. I don't think she's really going to do it. But when I told her I've converted to Islam, she realized, you know, I was serious about it. But one good thing is that she was watching me go through the changes. She saw me before and how my life was. And then she saw me after changing. She saw me dressing differently. She saw me stopping all of the haram things that I was doing. And uh, she realized, like, that when I converted to Islam, I was closer to God. When Jesus is talking to his own companions and they ask him, what's the greatest commandment? Mark 12, 29. Clear! The greatest commandment is to know, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God. And you have to love him with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. And this is no different from what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is saying the same thing to his people. Same thing I mentioned in the lecture. This is certainly for us the same. So what you see is Muslims practicing the commandments and you see people claiming the commandments but practicing something else. And that I have seen more converts from the Catholic Church than any other of the many sects of Christianity and especially from the nuns, priests and even an archbishop and all of them are better than me guys and women that I see do this, they still sacrifice their whole life to get the true message of Islam. The imam who married Allison says he's seen more American converts recently, in part because of the prominence of Islam in the news. It may sound paradoxical, but what happens is that when something becomes more in the news, people tend to want to know about it. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. One of the things I loved and still love about Islam is that the relationship with God is direct. It's me and my Creator. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, the most forgiving, all-powerful, unimaginable Creator, unlike anything created. <laughs>
Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ayinka Kamal. I uh, converted to Al Islam 27 years ago in 1984. I think during this day and age, the biggest uh, misconception of Al Islam is that uh, Al Islam is a very aggressive uh, religion. Uh, it's a religion that, that breeds terrorism or breeds terrorists. And I think that that's the biggest misconception that uh, anyone can have of anyone's religion. Uh, I believe that. Once you take the time to really look at Al Islam for what Al Islam is, like they tell they told us when we were coming up, never judge a book by its cover. And so if you get past the cover and you really start to investigate and you read and you study study this religion, uh, this way of life, you will find out that it's probably the most simple and beautiful way of life uh, that you can ever imagine. الحمد لله لولا ولا كنا أحطاب جهنم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله الحمد لله for those whom Islam has embraced, the greatest witness to God's unremitting, pursuing, sustaining, and guiding love is the Quran. Like a vast, magnificent ocean, it lures you deeper and deeper into its dazzling waves until you are swept into it. But instead of drowning in a sea of darkness as described above, you find yourself immersed in an ocean of divine light and mercy. Assalamu alaikum. As known, the Old Testament was preserved in the Hebrew language. In the fifth chapter of the Shir Hashirim, which is one of the five Medjolic or sacred scrolls, that are part of the Hebrew Bible, or for short the Song of Solomon, as Christians know it today. It finishes the description by saying, He is altogether lovely but what most people don't know, is that the name of that man, was given in the original Medjolic. Here is verse 16, and how it is written in ancient Hebrew, before introducing the vowels, in the 8th century. From the Hebrew Bible, on scripturetext.com. Here is the word in question. This word, is made of four letters. Mem. Het. Mem. Now when reading the word as it is written in its original form, with no vowels, it can be read as Muhammad, which is the name of the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad with no A after the H. According to Ben Yehuda's Hebrew-English Dictionary, it is correctly pronounced as Muhammad, not Mamad. So how we're going to know for sure, if it's pronounced as Muhammad, the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad, a random Hebrew word, the only way is to give the verse to a rabbi, and say to him please read. Here is the Song of Songs 516, and how it is read by a rabbi from a Hebrew Jewish site, please notice, the im in Hebrew, is a plural of respect. <laughs> Here is the famous SDL translation tool which includes a professional human translation as well as an online translation. We're going to copy our Hebrew word of the Song of Songs directly from the Jewish site. It's the same site where you can hear the rabbi reading the verse in Hebrew. All links are in the description. So, we're going to copy the word and paste it and ask, please translate. 
Are they going to translate the meaning of the name of that person? As the Bible translators did. Which is the praise and the lovely one or are they going to keep the name as it is? Well, see it yourself. Here is the world lingo translator. The result is the same. It's Muhammad. On the day of judgment, after all of the believers go to the paradise, there will be some that get to sit very close to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, at his river, al Qathir. And then there will be a group of them that are denied. And I want to be amongst the group that sits close to him. And those are the people uh, that follow the way he spent his life and the way that his companions uh, spent their life. And that's the way I want to have. الحمد لله لولا ولا كنا أحطاب جهنم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله